Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Just want to remind everyone, we have our live chat tonight at 8 p.m. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. High pressures in control this morning with some chilly conditions. Temperatures ranging from the lower to mid-30s over the northern interior, upper 30s to lower 40s in your suburbs, lower to mid-40s in your urban areas, with winds from the northeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Overall, we have clear skies in place throughout the region. On our surface map, you can see high pressures in full control. And in our latest satellite picture which looks like it's out that's fine we'll go to the infrared satellite picture and you can see tranquil conditions throughout much of the northeast but trouble is brewing to the south this is tropical storm nicole now nicole is now fully tropical it's no longer subtropical and it has a nice little tight core here and it's getting very close to reaching hurricane strength and it's likely to do so while passing over the northern islands of the Bahamas and heading towards Florida. It's expected to make landfall tomorrow night, somewhere between midnight and 2 a.m. on Thursday. So that is going to lead to some significant impacts on the Florida coast for tonight into early tomorrow morning. Again, here is the forecast. Pull that up right here. So it's going to be tracking across and then making landfall right around 1 a.m. on Thursday, which is tonight into uh, tomorrow morning, and then rapidly moving through Florida and then heading up towards the mid-Atlantic by the time we get to Friday night. So what we're basically going to be watching here as this storm evolves is this trough here coming in and picking up the remnant moisture of Nicole. Nicole is going to be a barely a hurricane at this at, when it makes landfall, around 75 miles per hour. So it's nowhere near as strong as the previous hurricanes that impacted the Florida coast uh, this summer. But it will be capable of producing quite a bit of rainfall for the Florida coast. And then as it's heading up this way, it will transition into an extra tropical storm, which basically means we get a warm front lifting through on Friday. And cold front falling through on Saturday. So let's dive. Okay, so here we have our forecast for today. High pressure will be in control with clear skies to sky cloud cover. Temperatures will rise into the lower to mid 50s for highs. For tonight into tomorrow morning, high pressure will slowly start to exit with temperatures falling off into the lower to mid 40s with more of an easterly wind. For tomorrow afternoon, high pressure will be off the coast with a southeasterly wind and scattered cloud cover look for high temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s mid to upper 60s in your urban areas especially around the delaware river valley on thursday night into friday morning look for increasing cloud cover with low temperatures falling off into the lower to mid 50s and then on friday morning waves of rainfall move through with essentially will be a warm front as this tropical air just surges up the coast with some heavier rainfall and a few embedded thunderstorms. Some of those thunderstorms will be capable of some heavier downpours and wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, so definitely be prepared for that. Temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 60s for highs. On Saturday, the cold front is associated with this whole setup. we will be moving through the region with Periods of rain heavy at times in the morning, followed by clearing skies in the afternoon. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 50s over the interior and upper 50s to mid 60s along the coast for lows. High temperatures will range from the mid 50s to lower 60s over the interior and lower to mid 60s along the coast. However, those high temperatures will be right around noon and then those temperatures will begin to free fall the rest of the day into the 50s and 40s on sunday high pressure will build in with sky cloud cover expected can't rule out a few flurries over the northern interior especially around the poconos and cascos due to some lake effect rain and snow showers look for low temperatures on sunday to range from the lower to mid 30s over the interior and upper 30s to mid 40s along the coast high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s over the interior, mid to upper 40s along the coast. 
On Monday, high pressure will be in complete control with sky cloud cover expected. Look for low temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. High temperatures in the lower to mid 40s over the interior, mid to upper 40s along the coast. On Tuesday, high pressure will start to give way as another area of low pressure approaches from the Tennessee River Valley. Look for increasing cloud cover with a few isolated showers possible in the evening. Low temperatures will range from the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. High temperatures in the lower to mid 40s. And on Wednesday, an area of low pressure will pass through the coastal waters with the potential for some rain and snow for the northern interior. Talking about the Poconos and Catskills, we could have our first accumulating snowfall here. While the coastal plain could expect periods of rain, look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid to upper 40s over the interior, and lower to mid 50s along the coast. That is your forecast discussion for today. I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. And as always, stay safe out there.